Hey guys, how's it going? All right, we're gonna go on a very, very different route this time. We're gonna switch it up to episode four. And um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is that we are, I was just charging my phone by the way, you know? Uh, this is part of the whole near zero marginal cost, you know, where it's just trying to make it happen. You know, uh, you can't afford it. You can't afford the big equipment. It's okay, just what you have. So I control camera through the phone and, and all kinds of stuff. I'm sure you guys also do the same. Or again, if you don't, well, then let me show you. I'm here to show you everything. Okay. So let's just start with pretty much uh, cutting it simple, cut and, making it cut and dry, making it as super simple as possible so I can explain to everybody so that everybody can pretty much get this and we'll expand from that okay so let's just you know let's simplify everybody wants to do something it doesn't matter what it is okay some people want to be a firefighter like really want to be a firefighter some people really 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 want to be an artist painter singer uh whatever you know um some people really want to be an architect or a carpenter some people everybody or a baseball player doesn't matter Everybody wants to be something, all right? And so, unfortunately, because of this, uh, the capitalist system that we've had, um, we don't get to choose what we want to be. We think we do, but we don't really get to choose. And we all know this, especially as you grow older and you live in this, uh, you know, capitalist system. Sure, things are great, things are wonderful, but at the end of the day, we can't really do what we want to do. So... <clears throat> Right now, we're in very hard times. A lot of us don't have jobs. A lot of us don't have, um, um, you know, anything. You know, we're just going to school um, or trying to be entrepreneurs. Um, even if we do have jobs, they're really, 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 really horrible jobs that we really don't like and don't want to be in. And so, um, <clears throat> right now, because of the internet and all the technology that we have, you know, whether, you know, it's um, things like Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, you, everything that we have, we have all this ability to um, not just gain knowledge like, you know, on Wikipedia and the rest of the internet. Um, we also have the ability ability to educate ourselves like on YouTube and again, the rest of the internet and then create what we want, create the real future, create the, the thing that we want, you know, whether it's a product or, you know, whether it's, a, you know, just, a, you know, what, something you want to do with your life. Let's say you want to be a personal trainer or you want to be a filmmaker or it really doesn't matter. You can really do what you want. The thing is that, you know, some people get it and they're just, you know, they're killing it, as you can see, all over the place. Some people don't get it. Some people kind of get it. So the thing is, <clears throat> I'm here to help you get it. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that, I guess. Um, in order, I mean, I think it's, this is pretty easy to get it, you know, to get, you know, it's just uh, whether or not you want to do the work, whether or not you want to put in, you know, all the hours, the extra hours, whether or not you want to invest the time and invest, you know, in, in yourself and make a future for yourself. So it doesn't really matter your age, whether you're 40 years, years old and you're a about to be, and you, okay, let's just say you're 40 years old and you're like some electrician or some other trade of that sort, you know, right now you can go out on your own and you can create a side business or create a business in the sense of, uh, you know, everything where, you know, when it comes to renewable energies, solar panels, wind, um, hydro, um, there's all kinds of technologies that are developing and so you can get on the internet on your time off educate yourself a little more and then perhaps you know grab one of these products um, and be able to develop something that you can install and create a business for yourself you know um, installing renewable energy in your community and become a pioneer or one of the many you know and uh, that's just one example Another example is, uh, and, you know, again, all, all the artists already know this. All artists already know that because of the, the Internet, you know, um, they can just put themselves out there and eventually be found, eventually be, you know, um, not found by 
let's say a record producer or or some big corporate company but it'd be found by the fans if they are good if they produce enough content if they make stuff that is amazing then trust me you know the, the, the fans are out there it's gonna get all over YouTube and stuff like that and yes it can and will go viral how that viral stuff works is that um, you know anything can go viral but you know then you just that's just like the that's just this generation's term for 15 minutes of fame when you go viral now the thing is can you sustain that 15 minutes of fame can you sustain that viralness that virability and some people can some people can't and again and some people a lot of people think that because they got viral by getting hit in the nuts by a baseball bat that they have to do something exactly the same well not really you already have that notoriety you already have you know like all these people looking at you because of that so now that you have everyone's attention hit them with what you really love hit them with what your real passion is hit them with who knows what you know what i mean fuck maybe it's something to save the planet you know save us all so um you know the thing is it's being able to use this these mediums and being able to use the internet and uh not being scared you know, in fact, doing the opposite, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, since at the end of the day, look at it this way. If you don't have a job right now or your job, it really doesn't matter where you post on social media or not, whether uh, you're going to school, you're young, it doesn't really matter. You know, like you, the chances are very rare really nowadays where um, posting any kind of anything, you know, that's controversial or making you a star or making you whoever the hell you are um, gonna be against you because again you know we're living in a different world now where you're building your resume online and what can you do online and your you know viral ability or your knowledge of social media or yourself or you know whatever it is you know or your your product again you know if you are again online and you are Joe Schmo the happy carpenter and you have a you know bob vila type show on youtube teaching people how to construct things you know um, with through carpentry or let's just say um again it's just anything you know like a good friend of mine says you know um uh you know you could be an expert on smurfs an expert of anime on magna and anything like that and you can you know definitely you know find your niche you know find you know your audience in fact before in my generation and even before that like um pretty much like if you did any kind of and when following a business model if you did anything that was niche um it was bad because you had to go with something that was trying you know you're trying to sell something you're trying to get something that you know is going to be popular and people want to want to buy and this whole thing so a niche a niche product or niche you know area whatever um demographic was was not good because you know you were just you know catering to a few people nowadays it, nowadays you know things are way way different you know what i mean in fact since like the whole audience and the whole audience is um on the internet and it's the whole world the world is your audience having something niche you know like a niche product a niche idea a niche concept a niche entertainment uh, whatever um it's actually good it's actually very good because you know, you actually um, fulfill a need that is, you know, necessary. You know, fulfill a need that people want out there. You know, seriously. If 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 you out there as you know um, an anime fan or whatever, or a fan of Pokemon, a fan of uh, um, Smurfs, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, um, you go out there. There's no expert on Smurfs. There's no one like really doing anything. No blog. No talking. No nothing that's worthwhile. You can wow. You, you, you can all of a sudden be the Smurf expert. You can all of a sudden be the Pokemon, you know, Pikachu expert. You can be the, you know, um, it doesn't matter. And that's the thing. And in fact, even if there is competition, just do it better. Do your version of it. And, and there's, there's, you know, there's variation, you know. People like this more than one show of one thing. You know, just be the Coca-Cola. Don't be the Pepsi. Yeah, I like Coca-Cola. What? Anyway, um, no, sh no, this is not a paid endorsement for either, either or, but, uh, you know, again, anyone, you know, please, I love Coca-Cola, my favorite. So, um, with that said, um, seriously, like, um, the, you know, everyone, you know, the world is your oyster. I mean, you know, I know that's like very cliche, but, you know, right now, um, anyone can start their own business doing anything, 
Like seriously, at all. Be, back in the day, I mean, in order to start a business, you at least need like a hundred grand in a brick and mortar type place, and you know, and so on and so on. Um, now you don't need any of that. In fact, uh, that's kind of like backwards, you know, where you build a brick and mortar once you already have an established online business. Have you even seen the new Amazon uh, bookstore that just opened after so many other bookstores have been closing down? And now an Amazon bookstore opened? So, with, with all that said, you know, we're living in a completely different world right now, you know? Um, yes, robots are coming and robots are going to take our jobs, but these are the crappy jobs that we don't want to do. And these robots need to be trained by other people. And as these robots and machines do the jobs that we're doing in fact we're working so much that we ourselves are robots and machines so <laughs> um we don't want to do that so we want to be humans and you know do culture stuff and like live and talk and and have fun and enjoy life and be able to like live it and you know 40 hours a week is still too much but hey who am i to say that um, I work a lot. I work, you know, 80 hours a week. But the thing is, I, I'm, I'm, I do what I love. So it's like uh, if you're a singer and you sing all day long or if you're a painter and you like to paint all day long or if you're uh, a carpenter and you come home after your job and you do carpentry, you know, um, it doesn't matter what, what it is. Um, the thing is that, yeah, where was I? Fuck. Okay, yeah, we're living in a time where, you know, um, we, we can do uh, literally whatever we want. The robot thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah sorry. <laughs> the thing with the robot. So, yeah, so anyway, so, like, it, it's, what's going to happen is, like, yeah, they're, they're just taking, they're going to take over the jobs that we don't want to do. And since we are all of a sudden going to have all this free time to do the stuff we want to do, it's going to free us from the shackles that we're in right now okay um it, it's just it's very simple i mean it, it's just you know the whole evolution of everything you know we just got to get on board you know um right now it's not going to happen over overnight you know we know that the future we have all the tools to build the future but you know the infrastructure needs to be built you know we need people like you out there to to have to start you know once we get this going to help start constructing this whole grid you know whether it's the grid for the electric cars they're gonna you know drive on or the solar panels or the whatever it is you know the future um you know it, this still needs to be built and it's gonna be a while it's gonna be like at least another 40 years or whatever but in that meantime you know the, the other younger generation and the younger generation and the you know the ones all the kids coming after that they themselves are gonna be um you know uh, already living in this like uh zero marginal cost to society near zero marginal cost and you know living in like on the internet and they already do and just growing up with that in front of them all day long and so like they're living in this this future already where it's not all about the work and the capitalist mentality and the system of work 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 to get it, maybe something no now it's like do whatever it is you want to do you love and you'll get whatever and you'll you'll, you'll get everything you've always wanted it's just there and, that, and that's it. It's just breaking that whole mentality and breaking that whole system. And, you know, a lot of us are doing it. A lot of us are trying to do it. A lot of us are want to do it. So, you know, hopefully through Redo, through my videos, I'm going to try and keep doing a lot more. Um, I, I want to be able to teach all of you and teach and, and be able to and, and have you guys embrace all of this, all right? And please, you know, so you guys can break the shackles of this uh, crazy capitalism and now have to work these these jobs that you don't want to work and live these lives that you don't want to live. I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, yeah, I'm, I know a lot of you guys are also in happy jobs and, you know, you're very content with what you're doing, but you also know that you should be making a lot more. So I'll leave it at that. And you shouldn't have all this crazy student debt and all this other stuff. So at the end of the day, um, I just, I really hope that, you know, I reach out at least to one person out there that watches this and, you know, that I can help anyone out there. I already know I can, I've helped plenty of people, but I'm trying to reach out to everybody out there and really like teach everybody and show everybody everything that I, that I can on how to be your own boss and be your own thing and be you know your own everything that's it and again like if you even let's say you're a nurse and you work for a hospital uh, it's, it's totally fine you choose to do that you're a politician and you work for the people that's totally fine there's a bunch of things but there's a lot of us out there that are very restless working a nine to five 
you know, very restless working a job that we don't want to do and really, really want to live the life we know we can't live because we want to paint or sing or just make stuff out of wood all day long when, or make videos. And, and why not? Okay. Well, the future is here and we can. Okay. So please. Let's start embracing this. Let's start the revolution. You know, if if um, you're on the whole political side, you know, Bernie Sanders, vote for him, follow him, listen to him. He is trying to, again, the same concept, only in a different way. He's trying to change the system in order for us to really be able to do this. And, you know, that's as for people in the U.S., everyone around the world still, you know, you guys can still do all this. But, um yeah, I'm sorry if I'm looking a little close at the camera. This is I want to make sure that uh, the the timer doesn't go off. <clears throat> so I, um, I got to end this already. Um, it's already getting close to the timer thing. But um, I want to finish by adding by I don't know I forgot what I was gonna say, but I'm sure it'll come to me. It's okay. I got more videos coming up. Regardless, for more information, please go to redopublishing.org or just redo. Dot org. That's e. I mean, that's r e d e e w. dot org, and you can get more information there. F look at all my other YouTube videos. You know, look at the people that I have influenced me on my YouTube channel. Um, check my YouTube channel out. Um, <clears throat> also, check out uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, my my Facebook. You no, know, Facebook. I don't know. Whatever. Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat. I got my Snapchat stories going. And it's just, you know, again, let me, you know, please ask me questions through anywhere. And uh, let's, you know, let's, I want to help you guys. If you guys don't ask me questions, I'm still going to give you answers. I just really don't care. All right. And I know a lot of you people already, you know, love my videos. And I'm glad that I've you know, been able to help a couple of you guys out at least. Um, so, yeah, that's it, I guess. Right. Yeah. Let's cut it. Episode four is officially over as of right now. Thanks again for watching, okay? I really appreciate it.